We thought 4 GHz was the ceiling, but Qualcomm just shattered that. Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 has entered the arena, and it's clocking in at 4.74 GHz. This changes everything. In this video, we're diving into the shocking performance leap from Qualcomm's next-gen Snapdragon 8 Elite 2, why it's beating MediaTek's Dimensity 9500 before the fight even begins, and what this means for your next smartphone in 2025. This isn't just another chip war, it's a race to the future. Let's break it down. Just yesterday, the tech world was buzzing. MediaTek made headlines with their Dimensity 9500 chip. Why? Because for the first time in their history, they pushed a CPU past 4 GHz. Huge milestone, a big deal for MediaTek. But then, today, Qualcomm said, hold my chipset, because the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 is rumored to go even further. Not just 4 GHz, not 4.2, but 4.6 GHz for the regular model. And get this, 4.74 GHz for the special 4 Galaxy Edition. That's the highest clock speed we've ever seen on a smartphone CPU. Ever. Let that sink in. Now, you might be asking, so what? Why should I care? Higher clock speed means faster performance. It means your apps open instantly. It means games run smoother. It means multitasking with zero lag. It means AI features, camera processing, and future apps all running like a dream. And Qualcomm isn't just bumping the CPU. They're backing this up with Orion Custom Cores. That's the same magic used in their Snapdragon X Elite laptop chips, built for power without killing your battery. Let's take a peek inside this beast. Two prime cores for those heavy-duty tasks, six performance cores for speed, responsiveness, and daily use, and the Adreno 840 GPU, clocked at a ridiculous 1.2 GHz. Yes, even the GPU is getting a serious upgrade. And here's the crazy part. Early benchmarks suggest this chip can break 4 million on Antutu. That's performance in a class of its own, even without the Galaxy exclusive version. And it's all made using TSMC's new N3P 3NM process. That means better efficiency, lower power use, and more room for raw power. It's not just fast, it's smart fast. Now, don't get me wrong, MediaTek's Dimensity 9500 is no joke. Crossing 4 GHz is impressive. It's a huge leap for them. And competition is good. But right now, Qualcomm is winning the race. At least on paper. Clock speed? Check. Custom cores? Check. GPU performance? Check, check, check. Of course, real-world performance might tell a different story, and MediaTek could still surprise us. But for now, Snapdragon is on fire. So what does this mean for you? It means if you're buying a flagship phone in 2025, you're probably going to see this chip, especially in the Galaxy S26 series. And that Galaxy version? That's the one clocked at 4.74 GHz. It's basically the Formula One version of a smartphone chip. It means next-gen gaming on your phone. It means desktop-like power in your hand. It means the future of mobile computing is not coming, it's already here. And this is just the beginning. We're going to see crazy AI capabilities, console-level gaming, and phones that can do things you never imagined. So the real question is, Will MediaTek strike back, or has Qualcomm already sealed the deal? Let me know what you think. Are you Team Snapdragon or Team Dimensity? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Smash that like button if you're excited for the S26 and beyond. And don't forget to subscribe for more next-gen tech updates, because this war is only just getting started. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.